Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own cryptocurrency with POA Network's Token Wizard. Token Wizard is a free decentralized tool that allows you to create your own Ethereum-based token and crowd sale website in just a few easy steps. This tool creates an ERC-20 token with your specifications, a token sale smart contract that handles token distribution, and a token sale website that allows users to participate in your crowd sale by purchasing your token. Be sure to check out the previous videos in this playlist and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to learn more about ERC-20 tokens and how token sale smart contracts work before proceeding with this walkthrough. But if you're familiar with these things already, let's go ahead and get started. Once you're connected to the network, we'll start by selecting a new crowd sale. And here we can select the kind of contract that we want to create. We'll choose the default option, which is a whitelist with a cap. This will create a crowd sale campaign with multiple tiers. You'll have the option to whitelist accounts that can participate in the crowd sale. And you can also put limits on your crowd sale. We will revisit these options momentarily when we reach this step in the setup process. Next, we'll click continue to set up our token. This is the page where we will enter all the specifications for our ERC-20 token that will be sold in the crowd sale. First, there's a name field. This will be the name of your token that will be listed on exchanges as well as on Etherscan. You should be sure to use a unique name that does not infringe upon anyone else's intellectual property. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to call this my token. Next, there is a ticker field. This is the symbol that represents your token on an exchange. This can be up to five letters, and it should also be unique. You should verify that your symbol has not been taken on a website like Etherscan or CoinMarketCap. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to call this MTK. Next is the decimals field. This represents how many decimal places your token can be divided by. These values can range from zero up to 18. For example, if you entered zero into this field, then participants can only buy whole number tokens without any decimal places. If you entered two, then your token could be subdivided up to two decimal places. For now, I'm going to use 18 decimals so that our token can be divided by the smallest possible amount. Next is the reserved token section. This section allows you to specify a certain amount of tokens that will not be sold in the crowd sale. This can be a fixed amount of tokens or a percentage of the entire sale. In this example, we will reserve a fixed amount of tokens, let's say 1,000, for our company's research and development department. We can do this by selecting an address that we want to reserve the tokens for. I've copied the address from MetaMask and pasted it into this field and we'll say 1,000 tokens. And we'll click the plus button to add the reserve. Next, let's reserve a percentage. We'll say 10% and we will reserve this amount for the founders of the company. I can select another account in MetaMask and copy its address. And I can paste this address in the address field and add this reserve. Now we can see both reserves listed down at the bottom of the page where 1,000 tokens will be provisioned for this address and 10% of the total supply of the tokens in the crowd sale will be reserved for this address. We can click continue, which will take us to the page where we will set up our crowd sale. This is where we will enter all the settings that specify how our token sale will behave. First, we can see the wallet address field. This is the address where the Ether funds are sent whenever an investor purchases tokens in your crowd sale. For example, whenever an investor purchases your tokens with Ether, this is the wallet address that the Ether goes to. This address defaults to the first account that we entered in the previous step. You can change this address to whatever you'd like. Next, we can specify the gas price for each transaction. This is the transaction fee that the investor will pay whenever they purchase tokens. This amount is expressed in GUE, which is a subdivision of Ether. 
specifically ether divided by nine decimal places. There's an inverse relationship between the gas price and the speed of the transaction. For example, fastest transactions will be the most expensive and the cheapest transactions will be the slowest. You can select any of the predetermined values here or enter a custom amount. For now, I'm going to select the normal value. Next, if we scroll down, we can see the investor minimum cap. This is the minimum amount of tokens that an investor can purchase. For now, we'll select one. Note that this is not the minimum number of tokens per transaction. If an investor has already purchased one token in your crowd sale, they are free to purchase fractional tokens below the minimum amount in subsequent transactions. Next, we have the ability to enable whitelisting. This is where we can restrict the accounts that can participate in the crowd sale. For now, I'm going to leave this off. And also notice we have a validation message here, but we will address this in the next section. Next, we can scroll down to set up the tiers in our crowd sale. Tiers represent the different phases of a crowd sale. For example, pre-ICO, ICO, and an ICO bonus phase. For now, I'm going to call this tier crowd sale. You can select the ability to modify your crowd sale once it has started. This allows you to modify certain aspects of your crowd sale once it's published, like the start time, end time, rate, and limit. For now, I'm going to leave this off. Next, we can specify the start and end times for our token sale. I'm going to create a token sale that lasts only two minutes for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to start it a few minutes from now so that we have enough time to deploy the smart contracts generated by Token Wizard. Next, we can specify the exchange rate for the token. This represents the number of tokens an investor will receive for one Ether. For example, if you enter 100 in this field, then an investor will receive 100 tokens if they were to pay one Ether. If they pay 0.1 Ether, then they will receive 10 tokens. Next, we can enter the supply. This is the number of tokens that will be sold in this tier. For this example, I'm going to enter 1 million tokens. Now that completes the setup for this tier in the crowd sale. We could also add an additional tier if we'd like, but for now, I'm going to just click continue. Next, you'll see a screen that contains all of the steps required to deploy your token and your crowd sale to the blockchain. These steps will create individual transactions on the blockchain that must be signed by the account that you're connected with. Currently, MetaMask does not support bulk signing of transactions, so we must do all of these individually. We can sign these transactions with the account that we use to create the token sale. Now that we have signed all the transactions, the token and the token sale contract have been successfully deployed to the blockchain. Now we have a summary page of everything that was created by Token Wizard. We have a summary of all the settings that we entered. We have information about the smart contracts that were created. There's the Solidity source code, the contract ABI. This is a JSON representation of your smart contract that allows it to be run on the Ethereum virtual machine. And we have the token constructor arguments. This is all somewhat technical, but this data is required to publicly verify your contracts on Etherscan, as well as having your contract audited by a third-party auditing company. All of this information allows participants to trust your smart contracts and verify their authenticity with a tool like Etherscan in order to have confidence in your crowd sale. All of this information can be downloaded with a single file by clicking the download button at the bottom of the page. Now we have a crowd sale page. This is an admin page that shows the progress and statistics about your crowd sale. You can see the addresses of the token contract and the token sale contract that were deployed to the blockchain. You can bookmark this page to refer to it later. This is the crowd sale page that investors will see when they participate in the crowd sale. As an investor, we can select the number of tokens we'd like to purchase I'm going to go ahead and select 10 tokens here. You can select the source of funds. I'm going to keep this as MetaMask. 
and I'm going to click contribute. Now I must sign this transaction to complete it. And now we've successfully purchased tokens. Once the purchase is complete, we can see that the funds have been sent and we can see that the balance of the tokens that we have purchased is displayed at the top right hand portion of the screen. And that's it. That's how easy it is to create your own Ethereum token and crowd sale with Token Wizard. Click the subscribe button below and watch the next video in the playlist in order to see how you can finalize the crowd sale. I'll show you how to distribute the reserved tokens from the crowd sale, as well as demonstrate some advanced features of Token Wizard. Until then, thanks for watching DAP University.